The Tuolumne River watershed of California's Sierra Nevada mountain range is full of life. It is spring on the Clavy River, a major tributary of the Tuolumne River. And here, the native Sacramento pike minnows are on the go. High volumes of water came down the river from winter storms and snowmelt at the start of spring, creating flooded riverbeds and clean and fresh gravel deposits. This is what the pike minnow need to spawn. As spring moves on and the water level starts to decline, the pike minnow are signaled that it is time to go. These large predatory minnows are now at least three or four years old and are sexually mature. Some may even live to be over 15 years old. In April, the fish leave the deep pools for these shallow waters with gravel on which to lay their eggs. Some female pike minnows may reach nearly half a meter in length and can lay up to 30,000 eggs. Young minnows will hatch in less than a week at the optimal water temperature of 60 degrees. These shallow, warmer areas with flooded plant life are the perfect nursery for the young larval fish. At less than five millimeters in length, the newly hatched minnows will rely on the bounty of small invertebrates in these currently flooded areas to feed on and grow for the first few weeks of their lives. As these illustrious pike minnows grow to adults, they will share their home in the Clavy River with other species of native fishes the California roach and the Sacramento sucker. The California roach feed on algae or aquatic insects and they occupy the shallower margins of the Clavy River. In contrast, the Sacramento sucker uses its sucking mouthparts to feed on detritus, algae, and invertebrates at the bottom of the river. What unites these incredible animals as a thriving assemblage of native fish is their dependence on the water conditions in the Clavy River that allow them to spawn successfully most every spring. The Clavy River runs 47 miles and down 8,000 feet in elevation. It is one of three remaining free-flowing or undammed streams in the Tuolumne watershed. The Clavy River meets the main stem Tuolumne River at Clavy Falls. In the main stem Tuolumne River, which has controlled water flow releases in a dam upstream, we do not see an intact assemblage of native fishes. Here, where the flow is regulated, we lose the high flows in the winter and spring that cue the native fish. We also lose the natural decline to low flows in the late spring and summer that provide the necessary habitat for juvenile fish to grow. As a result of these changes, we see reduced recruitment of native fish and conditions that favor non-native species. Places like the Clavy River, where native fishes thrive, are becoming increasingly rare in California. The pristine habitat is precious, and it is up to us to protect places like the Clavy River for California's native fish populations.